Q3 Sales, Badge Honored Trails, Battle to the Top. All right now on Stellantis Spotlight. The numbers are in for the third quarter, and total U.S. sales saw a 1% decrease versus last year, one percentage point shy of last year's total U.S. sales for the same period. With a total of 380,563 vehicles sold, several brands saw key vehicle sales increases. Sales for the Chrysler Pacifica and Pacifica Plug-in Hybrid significantly increased compared to the same period last year, showing a 96% increase. The Pacifica Hybrid currently holds the number three spot among top-selling PHEVs in the U.S. The Jeep Wrangler 4xe, Grand Wagoneer, and Jeep Grand Cherokee performed well, seeing double-digit increases versus Q3 of last year. Both the Jeep Wrangler 4xe and Grand Cherokee 4xe sit at the number one and number two sales spots, respectively, for plug-in hybrids in the U.S. The Ram brand saw Ram Promaster sales increase by 34%, and commercial fleet total sales were up 19% versus 2022. And the all-new 2024 Dodge Hornet and the 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonale hit dealerships this past quarter and are off to a hot sales start. Six new trails have been added to the Jeep Badge of Honor program. Two in Kansas, two in Pennsylvania, one in Arkansas, and one in Missouri, raising the total trail count to 68. All 68 Badge of Honor trails are included in the new 2024 Jeep Wrangler and 2024 Jeep Gladiator Jeep Adventure Guides featuring Trails Off-Road, which delivers comprehensive off-road trail guides loaded right into the Uconnect 5 nav system. If you're interested in hitting up the new Quartz Canyon Hot Springs or Rattlesnake Alley Trail Number 149, Download the Jeep Badge of Honor app, where you can research all of the Jeep Badge of Honor trails in detail. And finally, the Tony Stewart Racing Nitro team didn't hold anything back to begin the final four races of the 2023 NHRA Camping World Drag Racing Series, which paid dividends this past weekend at the Midwest Nationals, just outside St. Louis, Missouri. Funny car driver Matt Hagen pulled out his 48th career win, pushing him even closer to the top position on the points leaderboard. Top fuel pilot Leah Pruitt raced her way to a second-place finish this past weekend, also pushing her up the points leaderboard. Both Hagen and Pruitt have three races left to get them to the championship, with no holding back for the final races of the 2023 season. Those are this week's top stories on Stellantis Spotlight. Reporting for Stellantis Digital Media, I'm Peter Spezia.